These might be the best punk drum samples I've ever used. This is Brute by Ujam, a new VST virtual drummer plugin designed with punk and grunge musicians in mind. Today, we're going to take a look at the plugin and see what it can do. I want to be transparent and let you know that Ujam actually sent me an advanced copy of this plugin, and I've been using it for the past few months. However, they didn't demand any sort of content or positive review, so what you're getting are my unfiltered thoughts about this plugin. Loading up Brute, it has a very sleek black and gray design with a bunch of different drum options. The samples are laid out over two octaves on a keyboard and can be triggered with any MIDI device or written in like a standard performance. Brute is made up of five different kits that range from punk to rock and roll, has six different mix presets, and controls for each individual drum, the overheads, and the room mics. Plus, you have the ability to run the plugin as a multi-out or a stereo out using their built-in mix presets. The mix presets were painstakingly made with a literal ton of analog gear, and you can adjust the mix amount for each preset, meaning you'll be able to get some wild tones from this plugin. Brute also comes with a large collection of pre-written MIDI parts that you can trigger with your keyboard or drag into your DAW for increased MIDI control. Let's try writing a song with Brute and seeing what we can do with it. I start off trying out the sample kits to see which one I like the most. I decide on Prime because it has that 90s punk rock feel that I want. Now let's test out a few rhythms. After going through all the presets, I settle on a combination of Puh Puh Pat for the verse, Hi-Hat Fan for the chorus, and Bathroom Break for the end. The names for these things are just fantastic. I fiddled around with the tempo for a little bit and then settled on 127 beats per minute. Now it's time to come up with a guitar idea. After playing around with ideas for a bit, I recorded down the guitar part and then make a few edits so it fits well with the drum parts that I've selected. Now we write some bass. I'm using the Submission Audio Punk Bass plugin to get that super 90s punk bass tone. Now that it's all written, we humanize the MIDI performance, double the guitars for a bit of stereo width, and throw in a little lead riff to spice up the chorus. Now we have to write some lyrics, so let's break out the pen and paper. That didn't take very long. Hopefully these lyrics are halfway decent. I record the vocals and add a few harmonies to unleash the flavor. Everything is recorded, so now we'll do a light mix. I balance everything out and add a small amount of compression and EQ to the guitars and bass, and a lot of processing to the vocals, as per usual. And this is where we get to see what Brute can really do. I cranked up the smack knob all the way to really get the drum transients to stick out. and use the gentle mix setting set at about 75%. This sounds really awesome and it didn't even take much work to get it sounding good. Here's the song. If you need some punk drum samples, I've got the plugin just for you. It sounds sick and won't break the bank. It's called U Jam Brood. Check it out.
this is a great little plugin. The samples are well recorded with a lot of velocity dynamics. The UI is simple and easy to use, and there are a lot of pre programmed drum parts that you can use to find inspiration. And the built in mix presets will get the drums sounding pretty punchy with very little effort. This whole session only took me about two hours. At half the price of Easy Drummer, UJM Brute would be great for anybody looking for a drum designer on a budget. If you found this video useful, then I suggest you check out this video where I break down how I mix a pop punk song.